Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another RMA Fire tutorial. And today I will be showing you how opacity works, how to make invisible materials. Okay, so the first thing is I've got a template skull here for us to use. Um, on the when I give you the, the tutorial, like when I upload the file, I'm just gonna have like the skull isn't gonna work so i'm just gonna put an all here and you can use whatever kind of geometry you wish to use um, up here all right so let's come into our material and let's go ahead and add a new material so i'm gonna type rs material and then redshift material And let's plug this in here and let's name this tester. Come back into our object. On the material, we're gonna select tester. And I'm gonna add an RS dome. And on my dome, I wanna use one of RMA HDRI pack HDRs from the uh, parks HDRIs. And um, I'm gonna make it invisible on the environment and invisible on the viewport. Come here into our render. Let's enable render view. And um, select the camera and, and hit render. Okay, so that's what we get off the bat. Now, if we want to make the material invisible, we want to enable the opacity. So we go to the overall, add on the opacity. It's driven based on this color. So if we were to make it a little darker, it's going to become more invisible. And the darker we make it, as you can see, the more invisible the geometry is going to get. If we make it 100% black, the geometry will no longer be visible and this is applicable for any kind of um, you know any kind of geometry or like we can even paint it in as I've shown you guys on previous tutorials um, so it is helpful to say for example oh I don't want um, say for example the eyes to, the, the, the teeth to be visible um, but the rest of the geometry I do want that to be visible so if we were to we can paint it with them custom mats and in-depth tutorial or like more information about this I have another tutorial if you guys want to check it out um, but we can paint the color Obviously, this isn't clean, but this is a good example for you guys to be able to use this technique. So let's say we painted the teeth and let's make a line here. So if we middle mouse here, um, you will see that this contains a CD, meaning a color attribute. So we come here and we do an RS point attribute and the CD we're gonna plug into the survey so that we can visualize and make sure that it is working so we know that it's, it is working because we see it here we connect this here and now what we want to do is we're gonna open up the tab with the overall and we're gonna connect this onto our opacity And as you can see, it everything that is black is invisible now, but we're gonna do an RS invert because it is the other way around that we wanna see it. And now as you can see, we have made the teeth invisible and the part that we painted here invisible. Of course, you can see the back of the geometry. If you painted it, then that's also gonna be invisible. 
And if you do an RS ramp, and you change the value of this, then you will be able to control how dark, how dark or how invisible you would like that to, to be. So you can say, for example, add a, depending on how dark you go, um, it controls the um, opacity and how invisible that will be. All right, guys, I hope that this tip is useful and I'll be back with more.